As you can see, the concrete's all ready to go. You having that? Wet because it's below damp. Right, let's get back in the bloody van. I can't drive yet. No, it's just uh, I've been trying to sort the mics out. There you go, 8.49. On the, <laughs> where's the date gone? Isn't it? 18th of September. And it's sing down. Yeah, it's raining. So we'll try and make this brief, because we're trying to make things brief now. We talk too much. We've got the memo. Um, we're at an extension job, which should have started about 10 days ago, but um, we've had issues with the building inspector, um, who's been a bit overcautious. So customer's done the dig. We've been back, uh, cut the, he, was, he was told he had to put mesh in because of the ground. So Danny, our structural engineer, came and sorted that out. So the mesh went in. We came and cut the mesh for him with the the saw so materials arriving today so we've got me ready we're going to set out but as you can see it's forecast a lousy week which is always frustrating so um, as soon as we can get out there we're going to set it out and put the levels on I think it's meant to break this afternoon so fingers crossed but I think it's going to be a frustrating week yeah. we'll get back to you when something happens or when something arrives or when the rain stops Catch you later. Right, rain has stopped. This is the job. Oh. No materials yet, but this is the job. Just need to get uh, the actual dimensions off the customer. Oh. Uh, floor level, which we we'll use the laser level to set out, and then we can mark our DPC level on the fence post. Right. Customer's just going to go and get shoes and get us some measurements. It's definitely coming inside of this because this window's being bricked up, and we'll probably be doing that because of the um, where the door goes. As you can see, the concrete's all ready to go, so we'll we'll put your name um, time lapse while we're sorting this out, and then we'll run you through it as we're actually doing the levels and the measurements. Got our dimensions, which is 2.1 projection. Where have I written it? Over oh, there. By 4190. Yeah. 4190, so now we work the diagonals out. So, oh my phone's. Can I borrow your calculator, please? All well, then teachers have said you never have a calculator in your pocket. Well, till today. Until today. Let's find a nice orange brick. Right. Don't look in my phone up now. So we need that way. We turn off screen rotation. Oh. So 4.190. Uh. Let's start again. Four sausage fingers. Okay, that's our. So we want square root of that. Uh, not square root. You want to square it, don't you? Square yeah. it, yeah. So 17.55. Let's get a nice orange brick, we can see it. 
five, five, six. Just cancel that, and then we two point one. Two point one squared. Two point one squared is four point four one. So then times them together. Plus them together. Plus yeah, sorry. <laughs> seventeen point five five six. Five five six. Equals twenty one point nine six six. And you square root that. So there's your and then you square root it which is that one. So that's our diagonal. Four point six eight. Four point six eight six. Six eight six. I'm glad out of all the subjects in school I was okay at maths. Well, I didn't have to redo them in college like uh, everyone in my class. So 4.686, that's our diagonal. Locked in. Okay. So now, we check the diagonal, which is probably, we'll probably leave that until we've got a trench block to put in, because we've got to get over the pipes. Yeah. Do show the pipes and how deep it is. And we've got lintels coming for these. So that... We'll just about get a six before over the top of that. Cool. We are now. Two thirds of a brick, isn't it? Yeah. We've got four or five tiles. So we're just off for DPC, so we're just going to lift it up with a couple of tiles there. Yeah. I'm guessing five. Yeah, I reckon another tile should be just right. I'm having that. Two mil. Move it that way. Move the whole laser up that way on the tile. Up to there. Looks like a bit of a slope. Move the whole, move all the tiles up a bit. Come this way a bit. You having that? So that's our level. So, can we have a tape measure? Hmm? Can we get a tape measure? So now what we do is, that's our level, laser level, so now we just dip it to get our measurement. Bit easier than the other one, isn't it? Yes. So that's 685. Not awful. 680's gauge. Uh, 680 is um, imperial that, that gauge. Pe that pencil's dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 685, so that's that's great that. 685. We don't really need to write that down because we're working to the wall. So this end. Did you just put 688? Eight, eight? Did I? Oh. <laughs> that's how mistakes are made, you see. And it's only 3 mil, but. So right, spin it round. Right round. So there's our corner, and we've got. About 690? Yep, yeah, 6. Probably 686. Alright. Which is not bad. We followed our nails, so our nails are okay. So right on the fence. Except that one, we've got one nail. Yeah. A bit too high up. 686. Right. Which obviously there, you can see on the fence as well. We can just okay far end <laughs> do you want to spin it to here mate <laughs> oh no go over here first. I guess I get that one done then I'll uh, spin it for you in a sec so there's our so we just set the laser up again and then Six eight two. Not bad. Tell you what, you follow these nails nice. You follow these nails nice. Let's <laughs> so put them six eight two. This is where the uh, white pen are coming on the L. Yeah. We well, work on wet surfaces though. Yeah. It's, it's, it's paint. Six eight five. Yeah. 
That's the best we've had for a while. You done with this now? Yeah, just, uh, just check that one. Five eight five. Yeah. So first bit of good news. No, second bit. The, the rain stopped first. Um, I hope these mics are working okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, we've got, uh, we've set out. We've got our our width, our projection. We've got our diagonal, which we haven't done yet because we we need to go over this pipe. So we we'll wait till we get a trench block for that. All our levels are on. Uh, those all that concrete's within five mil, which is brilliant. We just put the levels in. Customer leveled it for us, so that's always a good start when you've got it level. We tend to get ours way out, don't we? Massive beds or dead tight. It's a reinforced foundation. Yeah, as it's well. reinforced as well. There's the leftover it's, uh, mesh. Yeah, as per built, uh, Danny, our structural engineer, specified to keep the building inspector happy. And um, what we're doing here, there's a door here, pedestrian door and a pedestrian door both ends and the customer wants the door against the wall which means there's no messing about putting little pillars up so all we have to do is knock a pocket out for our lintel to go into at both ends and apart from that once we get up to damp it's just a u-shape so door opening brickwork 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 door opening any windows no windows uh, one window in this end one little window on this side or on this side because this is door and then it's a utility or no i think it's wc toilet utility at that end and then once we've got it up to damp which we're not going to get done now which would have been ideal today then we've got the slab to, to prep and concrete and once that's done we're away then as long as we can get the um, trench block in so it's out of the water if it does keep raining yeah that was our we're going to get the trench block on today we can just put the profile straight into the trench then that was our old goal on site wasn't it just get it out of the water yeah and then we'd be happy. And many times we come back and that first course had disappeared. Yeah. In fact, if I, if I find, I've got, I'm going through my old hard drive, so if I find one, I've got a video of that when we went back the next day and the foundation had gone. Oh yeah, so um, we're not fixed. Luckily, this is where we have problems with the floor, it's getting the floor right. It's getting screeded, so our slab is gonna be 65 mil down from DPC, which makes it a lot easier for us, less pressure. That's floor level. And then once, this, once the shell's up, we're going inside, and then these, there's a wall between the kitchen and dining room. That's coming out, there's a steel going in. So there's plenty of work here. In fact, while it's raining, it'd be ideal to do that, but there's a lot of messing out to do inside, so yeah. can, that's, the plan is work our way in. So that's it. Talking over. We'll see you when some materials arrive. And my phone's charging the radio. So it's, what, about quarter to three? Half two. So, since we spoke to you last, we've been to Selco with the customer. He's bought his own installation, but we have the Selco trade account so he's paid for it and it's getting delivered because it won't fit in the back of the van so now 355 it's 350 for our cavity and I've allowed an extra five mil just so the insulation is not pushing the walls over so I'm gonna bring that line down both sides now then um, we're gonna put some screw ties in up to DPC from damp course it's a door so there's nothing needed up to there and then we'll just need some for the pikes so there's not a lot of stuff to screw in um, so, do you want to pass you the red level, Al? Oh, this one. There we go, that's marked.
all these two up for them. Yes, please. Yes, please. Right, Al, you can reach a bit higher than me. Don't know about We still need to mark the cavity up because we've got to do a, we've got to put the line on, haven't we? Still got to follow the line with the uh, profile. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, as high as you can. Cool. Oof. I don't like how this weird pain keeps happening. Yeah. Neither do I. It is, but we're stood in front of the camera. I have find a lot when I'm editing. We can't see bloody anything, because we're in our own way. We'll knock that off as well. Yeah. Right, this is our gauge. We've got 685. 685. Now 675 is three quarter block exactly. So we'll have a quarter trench and two quarter block and that's 675 and we've got 685. So we've got to pick 10 mil up between the concrete and the damp. On the front we'll have 685 minus 225 is 4 60. So that's what we'll have left. So if we put um we cut a block down the length, so we've got a hundred mil piece and a hundred mil piece, we'll put that in there. So that's 110, which leaves us 350. Okay, so that's trench, a hundred mil piece, and then 350, which works uh, out. At one, two, three, one, two, three, four courses, four courses gauge is three forty. So we need to pick ten mil up on that and ten mil up on that. So we're going to have a trench and four face, and we're going to have a trench and two block, and it all works to within ten mil. It's a bit higgledy piggledy that, but it works. So now, we, now we go to the damp course. Did we, we didn't check that was level, did we, the laser? We didn't get the laser line actually on the brickwork. To check it's right from there to there. We'll assume it is. So, from damp, we can pick the 10 mil up with the trench block. So we just need to mark 450. So there's the top of our block, 225. So that's one block. Two blocks. So that's trench blocks are there. Concrete block, concrete block. Con customer already has the concrete blocks. And then here, obviously we're following the gauge, so one, two, three, four, and then this piece is gonna be the hundred mil piece. And then the trench block. So trench block comes to there. And that leaves us with 120 mil there. So that's our 100 mil piece, and then we've got four cores of face brick, so it works. So let's get the 12 volt SDS set up and get the... wet because it's low damp.
low. That's it, you can hear me. So, still nothing arrived yet, and we're getting on for three o'clock now. All our, our walls are marked up with the pencil. We've got our screw tires done up to TPC. Alex is just getting us a couple of seven newton concrete blocks, so I'm going to put one in each corner and get the diagonals set out. There's not really much else we can do. I suppose once the diagonals in, we can get some more block over because it's too coarse on the inside, so there's quite a few block inside this. You know, use your things next time. I can't because it's awkward no matter how you do it. Mm. So it's a heavy step down, that. Yeah, could do with them. Um, see the little plank there on the top? Could do with pass them to each other. Yeah, I suppose so. I can't walk with them though, can I? That's why I pass them to you, you just plunk them down. Okay. Four, six, eight, six. Right, we'll just do the same there and then that measurement should be right then. Up a touch. Okay, mate. It's the width now, which is uh, four one nine zero. Yeah. So there's no block across. Well, there's one. One across the door and then the top block will be left out. So that's, that's it.
coming to you from home again. We've uh, forgot to do a, another outro. Need to look presentable while I do it, bloody hell. There we go. So, the bricks got taken back, thankfully. And um, we've got them, we got the other ones for the price of the ones that they delivered because it was their, their mess up, so that was good. But that'll be the end of this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. It's always a massive help. We greatly appreciate the support. Any extra support anyone wishes to give, there's the super thanks option under the video. And then in the link is Dad's PayPal if if anyone would prefer doing it that way. Not necessary, but greatly appreciated. Isn't that right, Reginald? This has been Brickling with Steve, Alex, and Reg. And we will see you in the next one.